appeal today and this uh, request to stay the lower court's um, mandate. And so he could it could happen quickly. It's difficult to pin down the timing because, as Paula was saying, it really is in the discretion of the judges whether they want to move in a matter of days. Uh, judge Gertner, a former federal judge, also joins us. Judge, what would be the likelihood that the full D.C. appeals court would overrule that three judges panel ruling on immunity? Extremely unlikely. Um, in fact, I think that the time it took for this decision to come out was time that they took to make sure that there would be no dissenters, not only on the three judge panel, but also on the D.C. circuit. I would imagine that that was what was going on, that um, that it, the others on the full panel were even seeing this decision to make sure that it was bulletproof. So I I don't think that that would be a very a substantial delay. Do you think the Supreme Court is so, likely to take it up, Judge? You know, I this is this is like very hard to figure out. But one possibility here is that they uh, deny cert on the immunity question and deny disqualification. And that way they look very judge-like. So ex explain what the, the result of that would be. Well, the result of that would be that Donald Trump would be on the ballot in the various states, um, but the various prosecutions would go forward. In other words, immunity is denied and that would go forward. Um, at, but on the other hand, uh, disqualification would also be denied. That's a way of that seems to me the most likely result, particularly given the oral argument the other day, and particularly given how bulletproof this decision denying Donald Trump immunity is. So that would be my best prediction. Carrie, I mean, if the Supreme Court were...